right, everyone. Now, since it's Sunday, I decided, you know, let's kind of do some free range topics. You know, if I'm at some point I might get the channel more organized where I have like a schedule of, hey, here's what you can expect on what day of the week. But for now, I'm not opposed to kind of doing just freelance videos, just to do talking about whatever, whenever, just because it keeps things fresh, especially with the haves and the have nots still on hiatus for right now. And, uh, you know, I believe I've already done videos about the whole Quincy Jones interview and, of course, the Monique uh, Netflix thing. But let I wanted to talk about a uh, Tiffany Haddish and it's somebody that I haven't really um thought about to be honest until she recently blew up in Hollywood and uh, to I mean a few weeks ago if not over the past month or so I believe she's been in the news and everything like so frequently like it almost feels like I'm seeing a female Kevin Hart in terms of um you know being exposed in various movies uh, TV shows. I believe she even is doing like a voice in a Netflix animated series. Uh, she closed um, a Netflix comedy deal. I believe that was like for eight hundred thousand dollars or so, which was way less than what a lot of people were expecting. Uh, I don't know all the details of that deal specifically, but part of me was thinking like, well, maybe that deal might have been low because she's also doing the um, animated series as well. So. Maybe that money goes together. I, I don't know all the details, but I just wanted to do a video and the title might be some along the lines of, uh, do you think Tiffany Haddish is funny? And this is in no way, shape or form some kind of like degrading video because uh, I, I mean, it's good that we're seeing a female black comedian in the spotlight right now, but I'm, I was just a bit taken aback a back sorry about that a back <laughs> when I thought about you know how she kind of just blew up out of nowhere and you know after looking at her resume if you um uh or like Wikipedia IMDB I it was funny because I'm like oh wow I actually have been seeing her a lot more than I even realized because you know I didn't really know the name Tiffany Haddish I just knew this sarcastic sassy and witty you know black woman who made these various cameos like for one you know I remember uh, what was it? One Saturday morning when I was a kid, you know, ABC 13, it'll be various cartoons and whatnot. Then as time went on, I think it was about less animated shows and then more, you know, live action. Like I remember watching um, Power Rangers Dino, um, Dino Thunder on Saturdays. Then, uh, you know, you had That So Raven, Even Stevens, uh, Lizzie McGuire. And I do believe that Tiffany Haddish was actually in one episode of that so raven she was like a like a tour guide at a museum and she said like this one sassy line it just had me rolling then you know years later come to find out that i was actually watching her on tyler perry's if loving you was wrong but i never realized it so honestly up until that point i thought she's actually been pretty funny but i don't know about the whole blowing up thing that number one I think that in no way, shape, or form, I'm trying to take away what she's been, um, you know, I, I don't even want to say given, but what she's worked for. It's just like, if you look back at her career, she's done a lot. And, it, you know, it finally looks like um, she's reaping the harvest. So I actually saw the video. I believe she was on the uh, Ellen DeGeneres show. And then Oprah came out and she was crying. And, um, of course, what was it? Was it the Oscars recently? Where she uh, ran in front of Meryl Streep and like a uh, bow down, uh, well, kind of like curtsied. And um, then there was a joke about the $4,000 dress that she keeps wearing, which I actually respect because, I, I mean, I'm a guy. So obviously my wardrobe isn't as extensive or as large as a woman's. But if I spend a lot of money on something, that that's one thing about being famous I'll never understand. But that's because I've never been rich or wealthy or whatever the case may be. But even so, I never see myself buying like... Uh, five ten thousand dollar rings or chains or anything like that or spending over a hundred thousand on a car and a mansion and if i like i do have in terms of wardrobe i got a walk-in closet in my apartment most of the clothes i know the back like the back of the closet that rack up for the hangers that's nothing but winter clothes then on the um actual right side of the wall where it's like you know from the back of the closet to the front all the clothes are literally dress clothes in terms of, you know, like slacks, um, button up shirts, polos, suits, 
due to the fact that I was a communications major in college, so I had to do a lot of presentations. Then when I worked at Liberty in the call center, you know, it was like business casual. So I think like my, um, I do have like a clothes basket at the bottom where it's like t-shirts and like two pairs of jeans. But in terms of uh, those clo piece of clothing, most if not all were on sale. Like, you know, I bought the suits brand new. None of them were goodwill, but they were new. But I've never seen myself wearing like a five fifteen thousand dollar suit if i did i would milk it for everything it's worth so i'm not mad at tiffany for milking out that dress but uh i don't even know what to think about the whole um who bit beyonce's face thing i feel like that's just i don't know some people have that's why i'm kind of doing a video because some people are like talking about the fact that maybe tiffany shouldn't have said anything about it at all because uh, she may have had to sign a um, non-disclosure statement to be at the Jay-Z and Beyonce party. And some people are like, oh, man, she's shaking the tree. Now she's probably going to not be um, nobody's going to want to deal with her or invite her anywhere. And I thought I was pretty uh, crazy because I remember the hashtag who bit Beyonce's ear. I didn't even click on it. I was on Twitter, you know, of course, sharing some of my uh, have and have not videos. And I saw it. And I didn't think too much of it. I'm just like, man, it's probably one of those challenges or whatever, because I remember there was one concert um, where Beyonce was on stage and she turned around and some, uh, somebody grabbed her butt or something like that. And she literally shut them down right then and there. So I was thinking, well, if somebody bit Beyonce's face and I'm pretty sure I would have seen a video of it, like, you know, a video of a fan capturing what happened. And since I didn't see that, I didn't even think it, nothing of it. So then we get the whole Tiffany Haddish, you know, hashtag. And it's just like, oh, wow. Okay. But um, overall, I did see Girls Trip. And I did think she did a good performance in that. And I have watched some interviews with Tiffany and just some videos here and there about, like, relationship advice. And I believe her and Kevin Hart were, like, in this... um. It's like this, I think it's like a YouTube series Kevin Hart has, like, you know, about fitness and whatnot, which say what you want about his personal life, but I do admire Kevin Hart's, you know, work ethic, the fact he's always grinding, whether it's like writing scripts, uh, you know, filming or in the gym. And, you know, he also posts his family on uh, social media. So kudos to Kevin. But here's my thing with Tiffany, and this isn't a bad thing. When I think of funny, you know, like comedy, I don't think of her, like when I think of like male comedians you know obviously most of them for me personally are um black you know like when I think of like kings of comedy are you know the great comics you know obviously the first ones that pop into my mind I'm just randomly going to shoot off three that I think of Pryor, Chappelle, Murphy and then of course um the late great Bernie Mac and um when I think of uh, females, I don't think of that many because they aren't in the mainstream. That's one thing I will give Monique because not a lot of black female comedians are given the same opportunities as some of the male counterparts, uh, not just saying black or white, but just in general. Um, I, I remember the Queens of Comedy tour, but to me, per maybe it's because I'm a man. I don't really relate to female comedy, you know, to, you know, that extent. But I do believe there are, you know, funny comedians that are female. I just don't, in my mind, Tiffany Haddish isn't one of them. Not, here's my thing. I enjoyed Tiffany Haddish, but I feel like maybe I enjoyed her more because I had her in small doses where she made ca um, cameo appearances or reoccurring roles in TV shows and whatnot. So when she came on screen, it was scene stealing, but it wasn't enough to the point where I'm like, okay, uh. Okay, I think I'm ready to move on to the next thing. I mean, if you want to go Disney, you know, just making references here. Uh, when you compare Frozen to Tangled, personally speaking, I feel like Tangled is the better movie. That's just my opinion. Just because uh, when you look at sidekicks, I feel like Olaf was just a merchandising ploy. I'm not mad at Disney because they made bank from that movie. But Olaf is kind of like that sidekick who's funny for like a couple of minutes. But then it's like, okay, dude, shut up. But then you look at um, Tangled. Her chameleon pet, Pascal, didn't say one word because he couldn't talk, yet he was hilarious. Like, every time he was on screen, it was just a showstopper. Then if you want to look at, um, what's another good example here? Uh, well, honestly, Kevin Hart to an extent because, like, I'm a grown little man. 
seriously funny, laugh in my pain. In my opinion, those are his best stand-up um, specials. Let Me Explain was hilarious, but I feel like, you know, the whole um, cheating on a wife and all that stuff, for me, may, I, I just didn't, I couldn't relate to that, you know, because not just because I'm still single and whatnot, but I, I don't know. For me, it's just like he kind of lost me on that. But I love the don't act like I'm crazy or help me, help me, inward, help me. Like, I love that stuff. But then you look at his movies as well. Like, I, I'm pretty sure I got most of, if not uh, a majority of his films on DVD and Blu-ray. And the fact that maybe it's the fact that we learn about, you know, the fact that he doesn't write all of his material like we thought. That kind of took away some of the magic from me. But the thing about Kevin Hart, I think I actually saw a YouTube comment on one of the uh, Let Me Explain video clips on there. Somebody's like, his um, jokes and all might not be that funny, but you can't deny that his delivery is hilarious. It's like he can take even a lame story, but just the physical expressions, the body language, the way he pronounces the words and kind of over-exaggerates certain parts, it, that's what makes it funny. Like his, uh, what... What was it? What was the ne- uh, last tour he did? Uh, what's what now or what's next? Uh, that special, I only watched it one time and that was more than enough for me. I did not enjoy that. I think I laughed a couple times, a Starbucks bit and maybe one other part, but that's it. I just feel like at some point you become overexposed because you're like the only black comedian in all these movies when there are plenty other people. Again, not hating on Kevin, but I feel like he was better when it was given to me in like, Dope up, uh, it. I I didn't feel overwhelmed, and I feel like with Tiffany, it's kind of the same thing now because every time you turn around, it's like, oh man, she's in this and that. And I believe a uh, night school is coming out, and that's going to star her and Kevin. Based off the trailer, I'm kind of like, it looks so ridiculous that I can't help but go watch it. You know what I mean? But maybe that's just me. You know, maybe that's just me. I feel like some people out there might have a more solid opinion of, you know, uh, Tiffany. I feel like she is good in small doses, but when I watch like a collection of her scenes on YouTube, it's kind of like the stereotypical loud, ghetto, ratchet black girl. And that's that. I mean, to me, that can only take you so far. But as I said before, this isn't me bringing her down, but I'm just talking about what I like in terms of comedy and what I feel is kind of eh. But I will say this much as a person, I think Tiffany Haddish is pretty awesome because it, when I look at like her um at award shows and talk shows and whatnot, you can, I mean, from this is just my perspective, you can tell that she's being who she is and she's not going to change for anybody. And I respect that. I actually respect that. But in terms of, you know, like the comedy aspect that this is just me. I, I mean, I just, it feels like, you know, it's just a stereotypical loud black girl, kind of like Kevin Hart is the short black guy who does anything for a laugh. And it's like the class clown who, oh, well, the class clown is funny, but then you got the guy who's funny for like 20, 30 seconds, but then just keeps going on. It's just like, hey, hey man, chill. You, you, you had that one joke, but bring it down in the notch. So to me personally, I do believe the Netflix special. I, I'll, I'll go ahead and watch Night School and maybe I should rewatch, um, you know, like a comedy uh, collection of hers to just see if I feel the same way. But overall, I feel like Tiffany Haddish is like funny, but she's not one of the people I think of when I think of the, oh my God, gut busting comedian kind of types. But that's just me. So let me know in the comment section below. Um, do you feel like Tiffany Haddish is being a bit overexposed at this point? Um, do you feel like there's funnier black female comedians out there? Uh, what do you think about the who bit Beyonce's face thing that was trending um, about a week ago? And um, are you going to see Night School or have you seen the trailer? What do you think? Do you think her and Kevin Hart will uh, bounce off each other? Um, do, who do you think will be the funniest one in that movie? So with that being said, let's get the discussion going on a non-Tyler Perry related topic and I'll talk to you later.